Hey there folks, so um, I just want to share with you guys my latest score. Uh, by now you should have seen the, the second installation of the Ruts Hut video. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys like the intro, if it's a little goofy or, uh, or it's okay. <laughs> I got a couple of different intros, a long one, a short one. I'm not really sure which one I put up because uh, it's uploading as of this uh, recording. But So this is my latest score. This is my... Um, Matt Diskin, the Diskin fire that I got from Menevade. Menef Menevade bought this. Nick bought this about um, less than a year ago. He got this uh, custom made from Matt. He ordered it, and um, uh, he didn't really carry it too much, so I was very happy to take it off his hands. I was actually thinking of calling Matt and uh, ordering one myself. Uh, so as you guys know, Matt Diskin's uh, from Vulcan Knives. This one is the Disc and Fire. Um, it's um, it's a scale release, the hidden scale release, double action knife. So this knife you can deploy by the thumb studs. It's got dual thumb studs. Let me just show you guys the. Hopefully this shows, just the quality, the craftsmanship. You know the precision that he puts into the thumb studs. I don't know if this is too bright. You see that? It's just like fine jewelry. So it's a regular Torx lock on this side, but just beautiful. I mean, he definitely takes pride into his work. There we go. Um, when uh, Nick ordered this, he opted for the... Uh, LVA carbon fiber scale. LVA stands for uh, low void aerospace. This, uh, I believe that Matt makes his own carbon fiber, and this carbon fiber, if you can, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. It's a deep texture, so there's definitely some um, sensory thing going on here, right? It's not, it's not smooth like typical carbon fiber. So Nick didn't want the lightning strike carbon fiber. He opted for this. Uh, this uh, deep texture carbon fiber, which is, I thought was a good choice. Just, I mean, it still shines. You can see it still shines like regular carbon fiber, but there's texturing to it. Let me see if I can show you guys. Probably can't see it, but there's like grooves in it. So it makes it for a nice, smooth, but um, good grip. You know, it gets, give you good purchase. Uh, the backspacer, uh, Nick left it lightning strike carbon fiber and it runs the pretty much the whole length of the knife so it makes it for one stable blade it's got a nice uh, pocket clip deep carry very strong good retention okay so you can deploy it and you guys have seen tons of videos on this but you could deploy it with the thumb stud Right. Funny thing is when you when you deploy it with a thumb stud, once you release it, oh, it's also, I guess you'd call this a liner lock, but just look how thick. Let me see if I can bring the light better now. The titanium is. It's got about fifty percent lock up. The um, scales are made of uh, titanium also. And it's a dark anno stone wash. Let me see if you guys can see it. So you can see that it's a stone wash and it's anodized dark. Um, so when you deploy it with the thumb studs, you can release it this way and it's smooth, you know, very smooth. You can hear that the D10 is strong, right? So it's very smooth and you drop it and it just closes like a regular knife. But if you deploy it using the um, hidden scale feature here, right, the scale release, which you deploy, and again, you've seen this before, you just kind of like slide it over. And once you slide it over, blade pops out like a bat out of hell. <laughs> so, you know, lockup's good. And when you when you close it, 
after deploying it with the scale. It's smooth up till this point and then you feel the pressure of the mechanism that deploys it. And then you'll hear the sound that's locked in. So if you, that's, I, I'm not exactly sure how Matt did the mechanism inside, but when you deploy with the thumb studs, regular deployment, regular closing, smooth. Deploy it with the hidden scale deployment, pops out. And then I kind of have to use two hands because it's uh, and locks it in that way. Um, yeah, let's check out the blade. Blade is L Max Steel. Uh, he also stonewashed it. Now, I don't know if this is a DLC coating, I'm not really sure. If I can show you this, too bright. But it's beautiful. It's got um, Matt's logo. Alright. You can see the L Max right there. It's a beautiful stone wash finish, which is dark. Um, so I'm not really sure how he did that, if he did that, you know, with a DLC coating. But um, just a gorgeous knife. Really beautiful, good th size uh, steel there. Yeah, just really gorgeous. And there's the mechanism that deploys um, the knife when you use the scale feature. Yep, yeah. that's about it. I want to make this short. I'm trying to make my videos shorter. Especially if you guys watched the second Rut, Rut, Hut, Rut's Hut video, that was really long. And I apologize for my voice. It's a uh, night of drinking with the boys filming Rut's Hut. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.